211 hours later, welcome to the long dark. We are going to do an episodic let's play of survival mode, even though I've already done the story mode, but it's made by people without crunch. The snow crunches. Shut up. You don't know about the snow. Photosensitivity warning. Don't look at the lights. Also, disclaimer, don't try to survive like this in the real world. You'll die. And that's really all you need to know about this cabinet opening simulator. It's a good time. I like it. That's why I have 211 hours in it. But yeah, I did the story mode as a let's play. And I did survival mode as a live stream one time. But now we're going to do a let's play survival mode. And we are going to play on Voyager so the animals actually attack us. And we are going to start in the easygoing town of Mountain Town. Just like episode one of the story. A male survivor is fine. Sandbox one is fine. I don't really care. But yep, our plane has crashed in the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Mmm. Henry David Thoreau, Walden. I like that they put these quotes in the beginning of survival mode. All right, simmer down. Let the wind and the sound effects calm you. Where are we? Oh, we're in the Milton house. The home base, man. Got the fleece mittens. All right, well, here we go. Cabinet opening simulator. Let's do it. Search every door. Hope I can still eat this. Oh, yeah, it could be food. Some might say this is a little boring, but just wait. Actually, we can take that charcoal. Yes, very good. Pinnacle peaches. Ooh, maple syrup. 31% quality, though. It's almost bad. It could give us a tummy bug. We got a wilderness kitchen for cooking. Dusty pork and beans. Peanut butter, they added it back. One of the updates got rid of all the peanut butter, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this game just updated before I, I who owns this stuff. started uh, playing it. Got a fish hook. That's not useful for Mountain Town, but it is useful for the neighboring Mystery Lake. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I know this game is very dark and YouTube tends to make black things darker. And iseptic is good. But yeah, we will... If there's a way to increase the backlight on your device, you might be able to... <sighs> Someone's stash. Yeah, coffee and crackers. You might be able to see better. But otherwise, I don't know. So, all right. What we are doing here is eating sardines that are almost expired and hopefully not getting a stomach bug. Okay, we're good. Now, what do we got to do? We gotta go into the fridge and put away all the really good stuff. 95% quality, the maple syrup, the peanut butter, every anything that's not yellow. Like, you see how the maple syrup is yellow 31%? Uh, we'll put away the dusty pinnacle peaches. All the coffee. We're gonna find a lot of coffee anyway. This is gonna be our home base. That refrigerator is gonna be where we store all our food and water. And this cabinet is where we're going to store all our first aid that we don't need. So we'll put the nearly expired hydrogen peroxide, a couple of the antibiotics, because if we're going to get a stomach bug, it's going to happen here, because this is where we're going to do most of our eating. Uh, we'll keep the painkillers on us, because you never know when you're walking, when you get a sprained ankle or something. All right, now we need a cabinet for our fire starting. But we don't really have much fire starting on us, so it's not really that important right now. Let's ransack the rest of this place. Fire log is good. What is that? That is a cooking pot. The, the ultimate water storage device. It really is hard to see. YouTube's going to make it even darker, too. Ah, well. Maybe it'll be something you could just listen to. Like an audio book. Which, speaking of, I'm picking up all these books because they're going to be our fire starter stuff. And we're going to shove it all into that cabinet right by the, the oven. Because the oven is going to be where we make our fires and stuff. And it's going to be so much fun. We're going to sing songs. Worn wool socks. We need to find the climbing socks. Those are the best ones in the game. But for now, wool socks will be good. Any chance of a revolver? No, there is not.
Sometimes when you find the ammo, you also find the gun, but... We are on Voyager, not Pilgrim, so... The loot is a little bit less. Bandage in the bathtub, that sounds like a song, but speaking of toilets, let's take all the water. It's drinkable water from the toilet. So the thing about starting in Mountain Town like this is uh, there's a lot of houses. There's usually something behind this cloth, but I don't feel like wasting the time to break it down. We will uh, search the drawer. Let's just ransack the room, get these books downstairs. But yeah, there's a lot of toilets in this town. So that's a lot of water, so it's, it's an easy starting zone because you get a lot of water. And that's the, that's the one stat of your character that, hey, oh, I thought that was the really good one at first, but it's just a plaid shirt. I forget what the really good one's called, but it looks very similar to that. Um, you know what? That's, that's everything we need to do. Let's break this cloth down. 15 minutes for three pieces of cloth. Yeah, look at that. Accelerant. That was a good thing we did that. Accelerant. You never know in the middle of a blizzard when you have to start a fire. That accelerant could save your life. Of course, it's also very scary to be out in a blizzard. Alright, let's go to our fire starting cabinet. And we will put away the wood, the fire log. All the... well, a couple books. Not all the books. We'll keep one book on us, just in case. Well, we've got that one we have to read. The Wilderness Kitchen is special. That teaches a skill. A very minuscule amount of skill, but it's still worth doing, I guess. Oh, if you're familiar with this game, too, I lost all my save data, so I have none of the feats unlocked. F-E-A-T? Feet? So we are rolling completely blank here. Uh, clothing. What did we pick up? We need... To put this shirt on. Oh man, it's tattered and worn. Get the mittens on, they're warmer. Get the best quality socks on. I'm looking at that asterisk that has, like see, 100% asterisk for the pants. Um, that should be good, that's about the best we can do. Look on the bottom left, the temperature gauge, the very first wheel that has three arrows pointing down. We're freezing. Our clothing is not good enough, so let's ransack more stuff and try to find some better gear. Is it food or? This will come in handy. I got myself a recycled can. Wouldn't it be nice if we were older? No, it would not because most people wish they were younger. The Beach Boys are stupid. Hey, look, water. We're gonna have a lot of water. And like I said, we're gonna shove it all in that refrigerator. And we're going to have our home base. We're going to have two home bases in Mountain Town before it's time to move on. We've got several hours of gameplay here before it's time There's to move on. There's got to be something on. useful in here. Oh yeah, crunchy stuff. Hey, coffee. I told you we could shove that one in the fridge and not worry about it. But yeah, when you start playing on the higher difficulties like this... Like, this is the standard difficulty, really, but... Um, Ooh, lockbox. At some point, newsprint becomes worthless because you can always start a fire. But in the beginning, it's Excellent. it's very hard to start fires, so you want to take as much crap as you can. Like I said, it's a cabinet opening simulator at times. And other times, it's like this really ambient survival game that's really cool. And scary. But what else? What other game lets you take drinkable toilet water? Ah, uh, we can't open that locker. We don't have a pry bar. That stinks, because usually the one that's locked what like that is, any good to eat. is, uh, it's usually got boots and a jacket in it. I've started in Mountain Town enough to know that it usually has boots and a jacket. Hey, a cup of coffee. Already ready to go for us. So yeah, 
me talking is going to have to be your entertainment and opening Could cabinets. Being useful. Hey, that's better than the shoes we have on. But also, when the blizzards kick up and we're actually outside, like that's when you really got to take in the game sounds and stuff. And it could be something to fall asleep to. I don't know. I'm not going to open that safe. Hey, look, that's even better than the shoes we just picked up. Uh. All right, we got better running shoes. They're the garbage shoes. But uh, we got to, at some point, tear up all the clothing. Like, see, starting out is a little slow. Because you got to ransack all these cabinets. I wonder if the owner's around. Yeah, I don't know if the owner's around, but he left $20 in a revolver shell. But yeah, once you've ransacked everything, and you put it in your storage locker, and you tear up all the clothing that you don't need... This. Magnifying glass is useful for starting a fire in the daylight, if you have no other option. But, uh... Just more tinder for fires. Like I said, you can make this really difficult on yourself by choosing a different starting location. Like, we got really lucky starting in the Milton house, which is like the ultimate safe haven. Sometimes it spawns you in the middle of a blizzard with, like, no clothing on. Scrap metal, we don't need. I'm leaving that in there. You never use scrap metal for, like, anything unless you're deep in the game and you need ammo and stuff. There's one ammo station really far out there guarded by timber wolves and stuff. I went to it on Pilgrim difficulty where nothing attacks you, but I've never ventured that far on Voyager, which is what we're playing on now. But anyway, here, here's the game. Here we are outside. Let's uh, check out the vehicle. Dash. This stuff will come in here. Bandage and wood matches. Can't complain, man. Nothing in the back. All right, the post office is quick and easy. Let's just quick ransack it. It's probably going to be newspapers. But sometimes there's a backpack in here that has like a skill book or matches or something. We're playing on the PS5, so the load times are tolerable, so that's good. I don't have to worry about, like, cutting them out like I did on the PS4. Never would have thought to look here. Chemical peaches, all right. Contrary to what you might think, charcoal is only used for drawing on the map. And it's relatively pointless until you find something called a Vista Photograph, which is a location that reveals a lot of the map to you. So charcoal is not how you start fires or anything. It's just mapping markers. And it does a very, very small radius. All these houses that are not boarded up, we are gonna ransack them. Like I said, it's a little bit boring because it's a cabinet opening simulator. Oh, but this this is a quick house. These like little metal shack ones. Ah, we got reclaimed wood there to the left. Scrap metal's garbage. There's a guy who was covering this game no commentary on stalker difficulty. I watched several hours of his videos. I don't remember who it was. It was a guy who specifically plays survival games. He had a decent amount of views, too. So it's, it's interesting to me how channels get discovered and then fall into their niche. Hey. You know what's really satisfying? Newspaper rolls like that. Not in this game, but in real life shoving it in a wedge between firewood and watching it burn that's really cool nothing in here and the trunk is locked we need a pry bar man so we can break open these locked doors Ooh, oh heavy hammer that's too much weight our guy is shivering man granola bar and crackers
My legs have been shaking a lot lately. I don't know what's up with me. I am in the middle of some medication changes and stuff, like dosage changes. So maybe it's like a withdrawal oh, effect. Needs this hey, firearm now. cleaning kit, that's good. Oh, and these are even better. Well, they're only 44% quality, though. Hang on, work boots are better than running shoes. Yeah, even at 44% quality, they're better. So there we go, we got... If we can find the trail boots, that would be even better. I have an idea where they might be. There's one specific farmhouse. I, think I can use this. Hey, our down vest is good too. What do we got here? Cargo pants. This is good. This is what we need is clothing. We got to get a sturdy build here going. So, put on the vest. That's our first outerwear thing. Cargo pants on the outside. They're worn and torn anyway. We'll put jeans on the inside. 58% quality cargo pants. Let's get the best quality baseball cap and that cotton two cast to hold up. We can repair it eventually. We need to find a sewing kit. Oh, what the heck? I almost got a sprained ankle there. All right. So let's open all the cabinets in this kitchen, including the fridge. Sometimes you could find a fish or a piece of meat. Wonder who owns this stuff. Yeah, maple syrup. Mm. Uh, crack open a Sprite. There we go. Water is good. Food is good enough. Let's just keep searching. What was I saying, though? I was saying something. This will come Hey, in. sweet dreams are made of these. Herbal tea from a cabinet. I don't know. No, it is good, though. On the higher difficulties... The herbal tea and the coffee actually serves a good purpose. On Pilgrim, you don't have to really worry about it so much. Medicine ball. I could use hey, this. antibiotics. You never know when you're going to have some nasty meat. Tear up the towel for some cloth. That's going to come in handy when we find a sewing kit. Bandages in the sink. Good. Quality tools. That's another one of the things, kind of like the scrap metal, we're never going to use. We're going to be loaded. Our weight is going to be really heavy because of all this toilet water we're carrying around. People say, Bill, why can't you walk? Toilet water, man. Nah, I don't know. Oh, look at this. The weather's changing. It's foggy. Are the wolves out? And out come the wolves. Oh, hey, we got another house, man. Uh-oh. Did you see that? It started to open and then it didn't. One of the updates, the radial dial got messed up, but it seems to be working fine right now. I can't see very well, which means you can't at all. The backlight on my TV is pretty good at like... That's the thing, like this game is dark. That'll come in But it's not as dark as YouTube makes it look. Ketchup chips. Do they still sell those? I haven't had a ketchup chip in a long time. Somebody's buzzing on my phone. I don't care. Thank goodness. Thank goodness something to eat. Oh, here comes the music, and that fire log just put a sprain risk on us. This game has some creepy music sometimes, depending on what you're doing. And it comes in at random, so sometimes it comes in and you think something horrible is about to happen, but it's really just randomly playing. Flashlight. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Oh my gosh, I'm too heavy. I need to drop my toilet water. But yeah, we're not dropping anything. We are gonna lug this crap. Even if we walk two centimeters per hour, we are gonna lug it back to the main house. 
What have we here? We got a baseball cap. Mm -hmm. I can't see me loving nobody but you. The toilet water. It's so dark. Well, we didn't find too many clothes. Let's get out of here. There was there was a truck or something here. There's a pissed off Puerto Rican trying to get into my truck. <laughs> Remember that from the threats guy? Man, what year was that? That was like 2004 or something. Sewing kit! Yes! I don't care about the spray paint. The spray paint is just for marking stuff. Man, we still need a pry bar, man. The trunks that are loaded with stuff and lock. Look at this Canadian flag house. Those ones usually have good stuff. At least in the story mode, they did. Survival mode's kind of random. It doesn't really treat any house as special. Let's take all the books. Okay. Still no fish or meat from the freezers. Sometimes you find one. Pin Where's the good stuff? Ooh, coffee. Pinnacle peaches on the counter there. Let's get these cabinets done first, though. New pinnacle peaches. That's something to shove in the fridge for future dates. The stuff does decay. So even if you pick it up at 100% quality and you ignore it for like days and days, which is hours in the game, um, it will decay. And some stuff decays at a faster rate, like meat. Oh, we are, we are really heavy now, picking up firewood. I think I can use Decent this. work pants. Holy crap, that's, those were two really good items. Hold on a minute. Yeah, Mariner's Peak Coat, I think, is one of the best ones in the game. Work pants on the outside. That's good defense against wolf bites. Plus, the fact that they're 80%, they're better than those cargo pants that we had on. I don't know if I want to completely trash the cargo pants, though, because if we get attacked by wolves, stuff will come in those are the best mittens if you get them to 100%. At least the best lightweight mittens. You can have, like, thick gloves if you want, but they weigh your character down somehow. So, yeah, you just find, like, socks and stuff, and... Oh, we already have the best baseball cap on. Like, see, we got a lot of stuff we got to tear up, and that's time. It takes like 10 minutes to rip up a pair of socks. And if it's like a bigger thing, like a coat, it can take like two hours. So you have to always be mindful of how long something takes, especially if you're cooking in the process, because you, you don't want to burn your food or evaporate your water. I could use this. I could use this down this. Mm. It's actually worse than the one we just put on. We are finding a lot of good stuff. I wish it was faster to get back to the house so we could start unloading this. Tear up that towel. Sports socks on the fridge. I can barely walk with this much gear. This toilet water is just massively heavy. It would be. How many toilets do you think you could carry in a backpack? With the water contents in jugs. This game makes it seem like you could survive if you had like an infinite surplus of plastic jugs and found random cans of Sprite everywhere and grape soda and orange soda. That's all you need. And occasionally chug some maple syrup or have some spoonfuls of peanut butter. We did not check this car, did we? Hey, the trunk is open. Could end up being useful. Simple Parka granola bar. The Simple Parka, I don't think, is as good as the Mariner's Peacoat. But it is an option. No clothing is infinite. If you don't keep it repaired, it will decay. And if you get attacked by wolves, they can quickly ruin your clothing if you don't repair it right away. So even if you find the best gear and you step out for an adventure, well, we need a weapon. Let's get some rocks. Just because the wolves are going to come out soon. 
I forget how long it takes, but they give you just enough time to get a footing. Yeah, we got a very lucky start. Starting in the safest location at this very dawn of daylight. So this is a whole day of ransacking. The best is when you're doing these long walks and the blizzards kick up, though. Like, it's horrible for survival and it's scary. But, man, does it... It really takes you in. The first time I played this game, I was just blown away by how immersive it is. It's kind of like Subnautica, how Subnautica makes you scared of what's deeper in the ocean. This game makes you scared of, like, are you going to die any second? Well, let's go ahead and ransack these two houses. We're going to be moving so slow, but it's all right, man. Get that reclaimed wood. These houses used to scare me. Like, if you come in here at night and you just see, like, a rocking horse with the match light. Or that, the crib with the teddy bear. You can't tell me there's not a ghost in there with the teddy bear. But look at this. There's a sewing kit and socks. This will come in handy. All right, I'll take that spray paint. I, I gotta ditch it, though. We have to, like, this, that's the hardest thing. This is one of those games where you have to manage your weight. And that is that is where I struggle the most. Like, on Pilgrim difficulty and stuff, I'm always at, like, maximum weight. And if you're at maximum weight or higher, you can't climb down climbing ropes. Otherwise, you'll fall to your death. So you kind of get gridlocked into certain areas if you're not... Careful with what you carry. Is it food or? Is hey. It food or? Oh, wow, he actually said it. Uh, 100%. That's good, dude. That's a good piece of meat. Yeah, when I, like, the 211 hours I've played this game, like, when I was really grinding it out on my own time, not recording it or anything, I, uh, I was walking around, like, at one point, I, I was playing this so much that I forgot to buy groceries, and I literally was living off of, like, canned food, like SpaghettiOs and, uh, Van Camp pork and beans, so I, I was making, like, beans and toast, and, you know, like, when I would get really hungry, I would go into the kitchen and I'd just be muttering to myself like this guy, being like, is it food or... Oh, we don't have a can opener. We're smashing open the can. That destroys some of the calories. We need to find a can opener, too. Stacy's mom has got it going on. All right, food and water is okay. Our tiredness there. It's temperature... Fatigue, thirst, and hunger. Those are the things on the bottom left. And fatigue is a pain when you're trying to traverse long stretches of at the outdoors. Yeah, we are moving slow. Let's get these cars. The house is right there behind us, so we're close. We just gotta, we gotta persevere, man. It's not the end of our shift yet. We gotta shove some more toilet water in the backpack and lug it up to the house. It's like going out for firewood or something. Uh, I think there's a newspaper in the back seat. But... Matches on the dash. You know how they say, like, if you could, um, replace all the hours you spent playing games like this 
and apply those hours to something practical and real? Like, what would you do besides go to the gym? I really don't know if we're if we're meant as a species to be on the move so much. Like, what's wrong with sitting down and just enjoying a game? Like, you look at all the other animals, they spend a lot of time just lounging around. It's like, sleep and eat. And find somebody to mate with. Those are the those are the goals in life. If you're doing that, you're doing all right. Uh, that door's a pain to get to at this rate of speed. Like I said, I know you're probably like, what kind of game is this? Opening cabinets and you can barely move. Just hang on, Ben. Hang on. It's breaking up. Taking all the books, man. Oh, we can barely move our feet. I hope you wrote it in Swedish so Thor could read it. Or were those guys Norwegian? Name that game. <laughs> still eat this that is some quality maple syrup that'll fill the hunger real nice like that lady who got on the elevator and was like you're gonna be thankful you let me on because when i get off this elevator you're gonna see something real nice real nice my voice broke when i was saying that i don't care I know I've said that. There's story. gotta be something useful in here. Oh, Sprite. I found a 7 up in the cabinet. Warm soda. Mmm. Although, depending on the temperature outside, I guess it might not be warm. They act like you're in. Look at these cooking pots, man. We got cooking pots galore. You don't realize how good that is. I know we can't move. What have we here? We have a ragged hoodie, sir. That is what we have. I don't know if it's better than some of the other crap we've picked up. We're gonna have, like, we're not, we're not there yet. We gotta get right up top of bed, not this bed. We gotta put away our food and water. We gotta make sure our food and hunger is topped off. Or, I mean, our thirst and hunger. And then we gotta sort our clothing. Wonder if the owner's around. I don't think the owner cares about scrap newspaper. That's it. All right, toilet water it is. I can hardly walk with this much gear. All right, we got Sprite. We got maple syrup, 26%. Don't make us sick, please. Look at that hunger go up. That stuff is good. That didn't really do much for our weight. We, there's nothing for it. We got to shuffle, man. We're, we're going this slow. Hang on. Hey, look at that photograph of the bridge. It's okay. This is all part of the journey. This is where you might take a sip of something. You might eat a snack. You can, there's an auto walk button for situations like this. You press in the left thumbstick and walk away. Like I could probably run to the bathroom and come back and I still won't be at this door yet. <laughs> no, maybe not. We're actually like right there, so. Yeah, we're good. All right, now to the Milton house, the main, the main one from chapter one of the story. Winter Mute. Are there any games that you guys play a lot? Let's drink some water. Um, not that it's going to speed us up too much. It just takes some weight off. But is there any game that you guys play that have... It's been... It's gotten so many updates since you started playing it and you kind of miss what it used to be like? Because this game got a lot of updates, and the intro is not the same anymore. 
Let's break down this branch. 10 minutes for three sticks. Do not underestimate the power of a stick when it comes to making a fire. Someone's stash. Well, a piece of cloth is good, but it's no hatchet. This is usually where they hide the hatchet. The hatches are open. I like the sound of the crunching boots. Even though they said this is made by people without crunch. I do wish they had a cheat menu, though. I would roll with the weight cheat, so, like, you could always be underweight. Because, yeah, this gets a little painful when you're moving this slow. But we're here. This is the house that we're trying to get into. So we're just going to offload most of the stuff that we picked up. And we have to tear up our clothing. Hopefully repair some of the stuff that we're wearing. The problem is we did not find a sewing book. So our sewing skill is at zero right now. So there's a high chance of failure if we try to repair some of our clothing. And that's just a time waste. And a waste of supplies too. Because the more time that passes, the more you need to eat and drink and... Hey, look at that bunny running out there. We're almost at the door. And there it is. Do we still have daylight to see in here? Yeah, kinda. I'm coming for you, fridge. The fridge. The fridge is ringing. There's an animal in trouble. We'll be right there. All right, food. All the good stuff. But we got 11.35 liters of water. That's a whole bunch of weight. Let's just put away about that much. There we go. We got some water in the fridge that took a lot of weight off of us. Uh, let's put away all the stuff that's near 100%. This is our king storage container. So all this stuff. All right, we're starting to get into like the 50%. We might want to keep some of this. Definitely the yellow stuff we want to consume first before it starts to give us stomach bugs. This guy's huffing and puffing because he's still carrying too much weight. But he's also getting very tired, so... Uh, so, all the wood. The books. The books are probably the next heaviest. We're not going to be able to fit all of them in there. Yeah, we can't. That cabinet is full already. And there's hardly any wood in there. It's all books. Alright, well, that's still 9 kilograms off of us. Plus whatever the wood is. Um, was there any first aid that we had to put away? Well, we got so many antibiotics. It's two antibiotic pills plus rest if you do get a stomach bug. So the fact that each one comes with six. Like really it would be ideal to scatter these around the map, but... That's the thing, you gotta, it, it's a game of figuring out how long you're gonna stay in one place and when you're gonna make the trek to a new area. This cloth we could tear up. Although the sun, look at there on the top right, the sun is going down. We are gonna soon not be able to see a thing in here, which means we're not gonna be able to repair any of our clothing without any kind of light source. And there is no light source except for fire. Now, all these cooking pots we found, we can boil water, but, like, had we not picked up all that toilet water, we would need to boil some water right now. But 
this is a, each cooking pot holds up to two liters of water. So that's two, four, six liters of water at a time. Oh, for a second it relieved our sprain risk. Now we're moving again. All right, let's get up to the bed before the, we lose all light and have no idea how to navigate this place. All right, here we are at the bed. Before we rest, now we have to sort our clothing. This is just how you play the game. So we start tearing up. Oh, the dude's yawning. But yeah, all the stuff that's like at 20% that we're never going to use. The glove types that we're never going to use. See, I really should... Well, alright. The sewing we're going to have to put off. Unless I do it right now at the last of the daylight. Look at how many socks we have, dude. These sports socks suck. Oh man, the shoes take forever to tear up too. Like we could tear up things all night. But we can't sew all night. We can only sew for as long as there's daylight. Tear this up. The moon is coming up. These are the choices you really got to pay attention to how long it takes. Ragged simple parka is better than the, the vests, which means we could tear up the vests. 20 minutes for two pieces of cloth. So right, but right now what we're doing is getting a surplus of cloth, which is needed to sew up the stuff that you actually want. So, I enjoy the noises too. The hats we don't need. Baseball hats are like the worst headgear that you can find in this game. So it's a shame we haven't found one of the Canadian toques yet or anything. One's 2% better, so we could tear this up. Tear it up, little darling. Now the cargo pants are almost too good to tear up. So we're going to hang on to them, even though they're, they weigh some amount. We only have one pair of underpants, too. Thermal underwear. We're already thirsty again just from tearing up socks. I guess you would exert a lot of force doing that. What? Oh, it's a... It's a Borealis. A magnetic storm. We'll search here. We have daylight, that means all the electronics in the world are spazzing out. Which means the lamp is kind of on. So we can still sew. An aurora, that's what they call it. An aurora event. It happens every couple nights. And the animals go crazy and attack a lot. That's what all that flickering and buzzing is. Alright, we got our socks sorted out. We got two pairs of pants. Now we need to sew some stuff, and we can because there's daylight. But what's... We need... We need to finish off this syrup. Don't make me sick, please. Thank you. There we go, our hunger is topped off. Our thirst is topped off. Now, where's our fatigue at? Um, yeah, see this lamp is on? You can see that, definitely. Uh, 
this we really need to repair. An hour and 30 minutes, 70% chance of success. Please work, please Not work. Sure why I feel so tired. Yes, it worked. 74%, that's good. We don't have to get it all the way to 100%. That's, that's way better, it's out of the yellow. It's a decent coat now, which is gonna keep us that much warmer. And since it would be foolish to... This thing is important too, that, that outerwear, man. 45 minutes, 70% chance. Don't break, don't break. Yes! 69% quality. So it's worn still, but it's it's better than it was. So that'll keep us warmer. I'm glad the sewing actually worked. This needs some repair too. Look at that eyeball, we are about to pass out. That worked, 68%. We boosted it from 30 something. So that'll keep us a little warmer too. Everything else is, well, we gotta find better boots. An hour and 15 minutes, this is gonna make us pass out. Look at our eyeball thing down there. Yeah, it's, it's red, we gotta sleep. Uh, first of all, top off the water because you wake up so thirsty in this game, so you always want to go to bed maximum thirst. Let's sleep about 10 hours. We should be able to see when we wake up, I hope. Yep, we survived one day, three hours, 45 minutes. Our sprain risk has been healed, and we can see a little bit. And we're dying of thirst already, even though we went to bed fully quenched. Well, there was a sewing kit here the whole time that I forgot to pick up. Okay, so time is always ticking. Hunger and thirst is always ticking. You have to kind of think about what you're leaving behind and what you're taking. So we will finish this syrup and hopefully not get sick. 28% banged up dog food. We still need a can opener. We still need a weapon, too. But yeah, we, this is our breakfast, man. Ketchup chips and dog food. Soda does a little bit of hunger on, in addition to water. So there we go. All the stuff that was a danger to potentially eat, we've actually consumed fine. Here's that creepy music, man. All right, so now the day is passing and we need to think about this. What are we taking with us for the road? I know what I want to do with the remaining time because I know the map. So, uh, sort this by quality and start taking some of the weaker stuff. Just take enough candy bars and stuff, enough water and candy bars to survive another day, just in case you get stuck somewhere and you can't make it back to this refrigerator. You want to have enough stuff on you so that you can at least outlast the storm and eventually make it back to the refrigerator. Not that the refrigerator even works, because no, nothing has power. Oh, I guess when the Borealis kicks on, it does. There's a cooking pot here, and pe how did I miss this? There's a lot of cooking pots. We've got three right here. You know what? Let's take two, because there's another stove. We can have two pots here and two pots on another stove, and we can go back and forth between these two shelters. And in the meantime, let's... Tear up. Oh man, it's actually almost nighttime though because we slept so long. All right, we got our only pair of shoes. The quality is down. Mm. Just tearing up that stuff made us a little bit parched. 
So do we need to even take more out of the fridge? This is the thing. Like on Pilgrim, you can do that kind of stuff and not worry about it. But on Voyager and Stalker, like every action makes you starving and thirsty. So yeah. All right, let's let's get a little bit of the weather mechanics here. How's the weather? Oh, it's a brand new good day. No wolves yet. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's leave those rocks there in the event that a wolf does come here. We've got a couple stones on us to try to scare them. All right, this is the path we did not take yet. So some of these houses might have stuff. Some of these cars might have stuff. Ah, we still need a pry bar, too. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Flares. I forgot how good those are, too. At some point, they weigh you down, too, because you have so many flares. But basically, we're going to another safe haven. So there's a chance we could find a can opener or a pry bar. This house is... I heard a wolf howl, which scares me because they do attack on this mode. On Pilgrim, you can walk right up to them and they get scared of you. They're, like, afraid of your existence, so they never attack. Which is a fun, easy way of, like, exploring the map. Something's gotta Something's go. Something's gotta go. I'm carrying too much toilet water. Another cooking pot, just randomly on the floor. That's, like, one too many cooking pots. Wood matches. Second pair of underpants, 53% though. I see that you're wearing two pairs of underwear. Cold much? Driving gloves? Those are garbage. They're like the worst gloves in the game, but they do tear up for cured leather, which is good for repairing the shoes. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Eh. Well, you know what? I will take that rancid fish, because we can cook it and it might still be quality, but now we've got a scent on us that wolves are going to detect. If the wolves are even out yet. Hope I can still eat this. Is it food or...? So, yeah. Not every region that you start out in is a cabinet opening simulator some of them is just surviving the wilderness and it's really hard another cooking pot you got to be out of your gourd climbing socks yes it doesn't even matter what quality they are those are the best socks this stuff will come in handy new chocolate bar very good sewing kit excellent Robin and ransacking. Oh, ruined rabbit. That's no good. Uh, well. Never pass up a toilet. That's actually good advice. As you get older, never pass up a toilet. If you're walking past a toilet, think about it. You might need it. Not to drink water, but to use. Man, I was at the airport, and, uh... I really had to go to the bathroom, and the, the very first two bathrooms I passed by were, like, being cleaned or something, so they barred them off. Like, the women's side was open, but the men's side was shut down. So I had to go, like, three bathrooms deep into the airport. Hey, we got some snow, man. That happened quick. But yeah, I'm sitting there wheeling my luggage around, like, I need to go to the bathroom! Then I see the sign for the men's room, only to discover that it's blocked off. And then I'm wheeling my luggage some more, like, ah, I'm gonna pee my pants. This looks, they did such a good job with 
making things feel cold and wet in this game. Like, this snow looks like it would be really wet. I hear a wolf. We're keeping warm. Look at there on the bottom left. We're, oh, it is, it is dropping a little bit. Probably because our stuff is getting wet. Wait, is the wind picking up? Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Well, this just got interesting. Man, look at our temperature drop now. All right, good thing I know the map. I can barely see, but I know where I'm going. We're following this fence line. I'm getting my rocks ready in case there's wolves. This is why we play the long dark for moments like this, where you're just like, oh crap. Keep in mind that all the food we picked up is in the refrigerator, so we, we're living off of candy bars and Sprite, and we're, we're barely keeping warm now. Panic, pick up any sticks that you find, because 15 sticks builds a snow shelter. If you got the cloth and the sticks, you can survive in a little igloo thing. All right, no wolves. Come on, we gotta find the key to this place too. It could be anywhere. Anywhere within this vicinity, but. Pry bar, yes! There's the key. Oh, that's beautiful. Me down. And beef jerky, okay. That was a lucky find. A pry bar and the key to where we're trying to get to. We could have had to search one of the trucks that's like off to the left here for that key. Why can't I pick up this leather? There we go. Why can't I get this one? Accelerant. Practical gunsmithing, that's kind of a pointless book because there's only one spot where you can gunsmith in this game and we're probably never going to get to it for like 13 hours or more if we even play that long. Sometimes the key is in this thing here. Maybe there's something else in here. Just that sound design though, muffling the wind, I love it. Usually a good surplus of firewood behind this place. Quality tool or simple tools rather. Can't feel my hands. Alright. This is safe haven number two. Let's get some of these rose hips. They're if we break them up and cook them into a tea, they are identical to painkillers. So if ever we run out of painkillers, we might need to do the herbal strategy. Thank God we found that key as soon as we did. <laughs> All right, man, look at our temperature, man. We were almost hypothermic. Trail boots! Use this. Yes, and they're 82%. That's the best boots in the game, man. Where the heck are they? I mean, story mode has a pair of boots that's, I think, either identical or better than that. Actually, no, they're, I, I, I spoke, I spoke wrong. I misspoke. There, there is a pair of boots called the Muck Cluck boots or something like that. That's really good. But the trail boots are like, top tier. I think I can use this. I don't need that. Yeah, 
hear the rattling of the uh Shutters, that's what they are. Revolver ammunition in that drawer there. That'll come in handy. New t-shirt, that's basically as good as cloth, because it's never worth wearing. Dress shirt might be good. There's a fisherman shirt that looks like a dress shirt that's that's good if you've got nothing better. Ski jacket, holy crap. Crap. Those are good boots too, but they're really heavy, so I'm gonna leave them in there. Could end up being useful. The trail boots are all we need. Actually, the work boots we could drop somewhere. How does this ski jacket? Oh yeah, look at that, dude. You see the green arrows pointing, every stack goes up. And yeah, some of our clothing is wet, so it's a good thing we found indoors when we did. This place is loaded with books. So between the firewood in the back and the books, you should be able to make a, a decent amount of fires before you run out of wood. We're moving slow, but it's okay. There's another refrigerator where we can store some stuff. And we've got all those cooking pots to boil some water. And we've got that fish that we could cook on us, too. I'm just ransacking what I can while the daylight's still here. But yeah, look at how many books are on, like, the counters and the shelves. Is it food, or...? I can actually go for beans and toast. This game makes me want to eat survival food. I do have SpaghettiOs. Uh, I gotta... I actually have to... do modern survival where you gotta, you gotta eat the stuff in your fridge based on expiration date, so... my next couple meals are planned out for me whether I like it or not. Just cause the food's gonna go bad if I don't eat it. love the sounds of this game. You can find some videos that are like at least three hours long of uh, storm ambiance from this game. What have we here? More socks. Anything? I can't exactly squeeze in there to see if the fridge has anything. Stack of papers. What do we got? I can barely see. Holy crap. Summit soda. Stack of papers, pinnacle peaches. Dusting sulfur, that's for making weapons. Again, you would have to carry that from here to a very Wonder far if this away is any spot. Good to eat. Like, they made it really impractical to do any of the gunsmithing stuff in this game. It's basically a mechanic for the bitter end when you've survived as long as you possibly could. And you're just trying to squeeze out a couple more days. Because, like... Uh, yeah. Put some matches away. All the firewood. The reclaimed wood. A couple sticks. We've got 22 stacks of paper. Accelerant is good to keep on you because you're if you're ever going to use it, it's when you're trying to build a fire outside. But alright, the cooking pot scenario. It's just, do we want to waste... We've got enough stuff to top off our hunger. We don't necessarily need to start a fire right now. But we've got so many cooking pots. 
two, four, six, eight liters. Well, we could fill it with water, and we do have that fish on us. The fish might be enough to top off our hunger. Um, hang on, let's put that... We have too many recycled cans. I don't know what to do. Uh, we gotta do something fast. Are we gonna, are we gonna light a fire? Is, it, is that what we're doing? Kind of like Resident Evil sound effects a little bit. Get the reclaimed wood. Two pieces of cedar firewood. Why is it having us use the magnifying lens? No, we want to use wood matches. Cash and cook, yeah. Come on, this this has a high chance of failure. Especially if you're outside in the wind. But each successful fire builds your fire starting skill a little bit. Hardly enough to be of note. But That's done. Eventually. Cedar firewood, reclaimed wood. If we had a hatchet, this place is a good mecca for reclaimed wood, too. Let's go ahead and put that rancid fish on here. Hopefully not get sick and fill up the water. We're doing this. Two liters per cooking pot. It takes two hours for the snow to melt into drinkable water. One hour for it to become non-potable and one hour more for it to become potable. Now the white fish is gonna be ready in 30 minutes and it's rancid so it could make us sick but we might be cooking it just enough time before it actually has something that'll make us sick. We're gonna need a longer fire too, which means we're gonna have to shove some books in there. And in the meantime, what can we do for 25 minutes? Tear up some socks. The fish is cooked. 75% quality. I don't know what that miner, what, why does it say miner? Is it a minor risk or something? I don't ever remember seeing that. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, it's not even satisfying. We got a little bit of lamp oil for that from the fish, but that did not fill hunger as much as I thought it would and we need more fuel for the fire of neighbors. What do we have? Do we have anything that's garbage? Oh, 22% banged up pork and beans. Let's, let's heat them up, get rid of that 22% can because that's just going to make us sick if we don't use it right now. There's something about the cooking by the fire in this game that I like. It's nice when you do it in a campfire outside, too. Banged up pork and beans. I tried out Elden Ring, and I didn't like it too much. I actually uninstalled it. But it's too late to get a refund, because... Yeah. 
Let's listen to that bubbling sound. All right, don't make us sick. Beautiful, and we're warming up because it was a nice warm can of beans. Um, put that away in the freezer because we don't need it. So yeah, we're get, we've got an hour to kill. Uh, the fire's good for an hour and 14 minutes, so we could tear up some more clothing. Actually, the fire should be enough to sew some stuff, but I don't trust it. So I'm just gonna tear up some things. Like I said, keep in mind the time though, 10 minutes. Like it's very easy to accident, accidentally tear up too many clothing and then all of a sudden your water's evaporated or your meat's burned. Uh, yeah, one hour, 15 minutes, no way. Do not tear up the shoes. Let's uh, drop the work boots because they're weighing us down. We'll put them right here in this, this little corner by the fire light here. Um, they served us well, but we found something better. So we will leave them here to serve us well again if a terrible fate befalls us at some point. All right, 29 minutes. Can we tear up anything for 10 minutes? Oh yeah. Listen to that bubbling sound. Isn't it so good? Enough time for one more tear up. Non potable, one minute until boiled. 16 minutes of fire left. We're good. Potable water. 45 minutes until boiled dry. There we Feels go. Feels like a lot of gear. There's a lot of toilet water. Two, four, six, and eight. Drink that last one. How many liters are we drinking, actually? 0.52, so yeah. You burn through water fast in this game. I guess the one thing you always need. So, all right, in the freezer, we've got 13.36 liters. That's way too much. Let's put a stockpile that's why we boiled eight liters we'll put like 9.5 in here because there's no need to carry that much weight so now we know that this place has room to make more water water and supply books for fire starting and yeah we just need to bring some more food into this place but that's not priority right now. We can... I can't see a thing. Holy crap. I mean, you can light matches, but I'm... Is that... There's the bed. I found it. <laughs> Navigating the dark. Uh, all right, so since we're right by the bed, we can tear up some more stuff. We can't sew anything, obviously, because we can't see anything. But we can at least tear up some things until we're dog-tired. We might need to eat us some ketchup chips or something. I want to keep those wool mittens because if I ever repair them to 100%, they're really good. This t-shirt is pointless. Even at 100% quality, it's a waste. The dress shirt is better than the plaid shirt? I guess because it's just that good quality and the other one's torn apart. Mm. Man, the fire crackling died. The fire must be done. Yeah, we need some sewing. We need to find better hats. We need to sew some things. 
But for now, we sleep. And I think that could be a good first episode. If, if it wakes us up in the daytime here, we might need to do a little ones and twos, and that'll make sense in a second. You woke up fully rested. Yeah, but I still can't see anything. The sun is about to come up. All right, so first things first. When you first wake up, you gotta eat and drink. I'd better find some water. How about some Sprite? And now some water, since we have a whole freezer full of it. There we go. Is it... Can we see now? Um, sorry, I get excited when the meters fill up, so I just kind of like take it in for a minute. There we go, max stats basically, but I still can't see. Can we sleep an hour? No, we're not tired enough. Well, we could pass time for an hour. Now we can see. And now to save the game, let's sleep for an hour top off that our thirst and hunger might be down a little bit but there you go saving in the right corner there this is a good place to start for our next adventure so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy this and i will see you for more survival next time